So we are going to go through the quasi function, going to prove the quasi concavity and quasi convexity. The quasi function, quasi quasi concave and convexity, can be said to also using the Lagrangian approach. When you understand or have mastery over the Lagrangian approach, you should be able to prove the quasi function, find the quasi concavity or the convexity. Uh, given the particular function they may give you, the utility function they may give you. So that is not difficult. Uh, so we'll go to the Lagrangian approach again, recap. But we'll not go to if you want to learn about the Lagrangian approach, you can watch the video on the Lagrangian approach. So we just put the Lagrangian using the Cobb Douglas. So and then you can find it. So I have S, X, uh, alpha, Y, beta, plus lambda. I minus Px x minus y y. Wait, so with the quasi function, we'll be applying metrics. We'll be applying the determinant of a matrix, three by three matrix. So if you don't also know how to find the determinant of a matrix, you can watch the video on the matrix. Okay. So we will need L x L y. L lambda at least when you know whatever the question demands, when you know what you are supposed to do, it helps you to also do things fast and accurately. So you should know that we will be using L Y L L L X L Y L lambda. Then we'll find the second derivatives of each of these first derivatives with respect to each of the variables. So you have L X X, we find L X Y, L X lambda L X uh, lambda. Then we come to L, L, Y, Y, L, Y, X, L, Y, Lambda. Then we'll find L, Lambda, X, L, Lambda, Y, L, Lambda, Lambda. We did this. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. To be able to prove the quasi function. And find quasi concavity and complexity. Okay. So from the Lagrangian approach that we did, we have our Lx that is differentiating the Lagrangian with respect to x to be equal to alpha x alpha minus 1 y beta minus alpha a lambda to x. And we have, so I'll try and divide this into 3. And we have uh, Ly also to be beta x alpha y beta minus 1 minus lambda py then the l lambda was i minus px x minus py y okay so now we should find the second derivative so we take x lx so this is the first derivative note that the first derivatives should be greater than is a condition. So this is a condition should be greater than zero for second derivatives. It should be less than zero. Okay. So that should be our one. So we find the derivative of the first derivative with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to what? Lambda. So now Lxx is like the derivative of the first derivative. So we are differentiating again with respect to x. This gives me alpha alpha minus 1, x alpha minus 2, this, and this will go to 0. Then Lxy will be differentiating the Lx with respect to y. This will be alpha beta x minus alpha minus 1 beta minus 1. Then we have Lx lambda. Lx lambda is minus dx. Then we'll go to the Ly. The Ly, we find Lyx. Lyx is mean alpha beta x alpha minus 1 y beta minus 1. Then I'll find L Y Y. L Y Y is mean beta beta minus 1 x alpha y beta minus 2. L Y lambda gives me minus y. Then I find L lambda x. L lambda x is minus 
Yes. L lambda y is minus one. L lambda lambda is equal to zero because there is no lambda here to differentiate. So now we have uh, L x L y L lambda L x x x y x lambda L y x y y y lambda L lambda x L lambda y L lambda lambda. So we we'll put this one in a matrix form. So we arrange this. So the matrix will be like x, y, and z. x, y, and z. So the first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. Second row, first column, second row. So video on matrix, you can watch this also. So this will be L, X, X. This will be L, X, Y. So the row and the column. So row X, column. Z. Rule Y column X. Rule Y column Y. Rule Y column Z. Hey, lambda. We are doing. We are, we are solving lambda. Sorry, using lambda. So now, rule lambda column X. Rule Y. Rule lambda column Y. Then rule lambda column lambda. Now, there is no need to put these values in. Because we have no need. The only values we need is the, the simple ones. As for these ones, are huge ones. So if we prove after proving and we want to put in the values or the variables we have, we can go ahead. So now I will just maintain the L X X, then L X Y, then L L X lambda was. Fx lambda was minus x, so I put minus x. And I have ly, yx, lyy, then ly lambda, which was minus py. Then I will have the lambda full. L, L lambda, la, lambda x was minus x. L lambda y was minus y. Then L lambda lambda was zero. So now we have our, we have this matrix. What we are supposed to do is to find the determinant of this three by three matrix. That's where the problem lies. So if you are not good in finding the determinant of this of three by three, you can go and watch the video on matrix determinant of the matrix. So I'll write this one on top. So I have L X X L Y L X Y minus B X minus B Y zero minus B Y minus B X L Y Y L Y X. Let L X X B F one one L X Y B F one two L Y Y B F two two. Something like okay, the X is like the first value, so the variable. So let's this uh x be f1 and py be f2. So in place of the L, 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 I'll change it to f, 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 f. Then I'll find a determinant. So I'll find the determinant of f11, f12, Minus F1, F21, F22, minus F2, minus F1, minus F2, and 0. I'll find the determinants. Take notes that for LXY, we had alpha, beta, x minus, uh, alpha minus 1, sorry, y, beta, Minus one. Then the L Y X we also have the same thing. So with this one, we have a theory called the Young's theory. Young's Young's theory. Young's theory states that F one F one two is the same as F two one. So this is Young's theory, and it should be in your mind because we apply it. Here. So finding the